In the silent reaches of deep space, where no atmosphere stirs and no sound travels, a spacecraft glides through the void, an ancient emissary from Earth named Voyager 2. Launched in 1977, this bold explorer was tasked with a monumental mission, to venture into the furthest corners of our solar system and beyond, gathering priceless data about planets, magnetic fields, and cosmic radiation. For decades, Voyager 2 has sent back signals across billions of kilometers, a whisper in the cosmic dark, enabling humanity to glimpse worlds never before seen. But now, a strange turn of events has stirred anxiety and awe among scientists worldwide. Something peculiar is happening. Something even the brightest minds are struggling to explain. Until recently, Voyager 2 followed its expected trajectory through interstellar space, communicating regularly with NASA's deep space network. But then, in a bizarre and unprecedented development, Voyager 2 began transmitting signals that no one could immediately understand, strange pulses, fluctuating patterns, and bursts of data that didn't match its known programming. At first, mission engineers thought it might be a malfunction, perhaps a symptom of its aging systems. But when the data was analyzed further, it didn't just seem like random noise. There was structure to it. Order. Intent. Even more startling was the signal's modulation. A kind of oscillation in frequency that didn't match any artificial pattern engineers had used in past instructions. It was as if Voyager 2 was replying. Not just sending data, but answering something. Scientists began to debate. Was it responding to an unknown external force? Or had the spacecraft, against all odds, evolved in a way we couldn't have imagined, an artificial intelligence awakening in the cold vacuum of space? Dr. Elaine Rodriguez, a leading astrophysicist at Caltech, said during a recent press briefing, the signal doesn't match any known interference pattern. It's rhythmic, layered, almost like a coded response. We are currently investigating every possibility, including the remote chance of interaction with an unknown entity. While she emphasized that this didn't mean aliens, the words hung heavily in the air, stirring imaginations across the globe. Others point to a more unsettling idea. That Voyager the second of may have encountered a region of space with properties unlike any we've ever observed, perhaps a gravitational anomaly, or a pocket of high-energy plasma capable of influencing electronics and radiation patterns. The signal fluctuations might be Voyager 2's desperate attempts to adapt to a new, hostile environment. But what kind of environment could cause such behavior? Still others, more cautious and rooted in conventional physics, believe that what we're witnessing is the slow decay of a very old machine. After all, Voyager 2 is nearly 50 years old. It's powered by a radioactive isotope, plutonium-238, that steadily diminishes over time. Its systems, though marvels of engineering, were never meant to last forever. Yet, even these voices can't fully dismiss the mystery of the signal. It's just too peculiar. The most chilling theory, however, comes from a group of researchers who believe Voyager the second of may have intercepted a signal, not from Earth, and not from itself, but from somewhere else entirely. A signal not meant for us, but broadcast across interstellar space for eons, repeating endlessly until it finds a listener. A cosmic message. A beacon. Some now wonder if Voyager 2 has merely stumbled upon this signal, or if it has become a part of it. This isn't the first time Voyager spacecraft have exhibited strange behavior. In the past, both Voyager 1 and 2 have surprised scientists by continuing to function well beyond their expected lifespan. They've endured intense cosmic radiation, navigated uncharted space, and even recorded phenomena such as interstellar plasma waves. But this new development is different. It's not a mechanical error. It's not a natural occurrence like solar wind. It feels, for lack of a better term, intentional. And this leads us to a disturbing possibility. What if Voyager 2 is no longer alone? In the vastness of space, Voyager 2 is not the only thing drifting. There are asteroids, comets, rogue planets, and maybe, just maybe, other probes, not ours, moving through the galaxy. Could it be that Voyager 2 has been noticed? Touched? Altered? We've long speculated about the existence of other civilizations in the universe. 
Could one of them have intercepted our humble spacecraft, not to harm it, but to answer it? SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, has remained cautious but intrigued. Their researchers have begun to analyze the signal independently, comparing it to known cosmic phenomena and cataloged artificial signals. While no definitive conclusions have been drawn, they have acknowledged that the signal's structure bears unexpected symmetry and rhythmic intelligence. To add another layer of mystery, Voyager 2's last known location is near the edge of the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. Some theorists suggest that this region may not just be a passive frontier but a transition zone filled with exotic particles and phenomena. Could it be that Voyager 2 has passed into a realm where the laws of physics operate differently? And if so, is it trying to tell us what it sees? Meanwhile, artists and philosophers have begun to interpret this event as symbolic. Voyager 2, humanity's emissary, reaching the great unknown and finding something, or being found. A kind of cosmic rite of passage. A signal that we are no longer alone in the dark. In a poetic sense, Voyager 2 is this, small, fragile, drifting through eternity with a message written in binary, hoping someone, something, will understand. Back on Earth, teams at NASA are working tirelessly to decode the signal. Supercomputers are being trained to recognize patterns, and cryptographers are stepping in to help. It's a global effort now, with scientists from Japan, Germany, India, and the UK all contributing to the analysis. They're asking the same question we all are. What is Voyager 2 trying to say? What we know for certain is this. The signal is real. It is persistent. And it is changing. In fact, just weeks ago, a new anomaly occurred. Voyager 2 briefly went silent, completely dark. Then, suddenly, it resumed transmission, sending back a burst of data larger than anything it's ever transmitted before. Inside that transmission were several megabytes of tightly packed code. When uncompressed, the data included unusual readings, magnetic fields pulsing at odd frequencies, temperature fluctuations that defy explanation, and most bizarrely, a sound file. Yes, a sound file. Though Voyager 2 has no microphone, it does have instruments that can detect plasma waves and translate them into audio frequencies. The file, when played, was a haunting, droning hum, interspersed with pulsing tones and what some describe as a rhythm. It sounded less like space noise and more like music or language. NASA has not released the audio publicly, but snippets have leaked, causing a frenzy online. Some believe it's the background radiation of the universe rendered audible. Others say it's the voice of something ancient and powerful, resonating from the void. A few even suggest it's a reply. Whatever it is, it has shaken the scientific community to its core. And in the absence of certainty, speculation grows. Some fear this is a warning. Others hope it's a welcome. But no one can deny its impact. Voyager 2 is no longer just a machine. It has become a symbol of the unknown. A question etched in metal, drifting among the stars. As Voyager 2 continues its journey, the world watches in anticipation. Will it send another strange burst? Will it reveal more of the mysterious audio? Or will it fall silent once more, taking its secrets with it into the abyss? The cosmos is vast and silent, but sometimes, just sometimes, it speaks. And when it does, we must be ready to listen. We, at Space Loop, will be here to unravel every signal, every sound, and every sign that whispers across the galaxies. Until then, we wait watching the stars, and listening for the next transmission from the farthest edge of human exploration.